Hey, Rob with Lockwood with Harness, and today I want to be talking about an important piece of Harness architecture, the Harness Delegate. Taking a look at the architecture, the Delegate is a worker node, basically performing the actions that you need. When Harness commands the Delegate to do something, uh, the Delegate will basically perform an action for you. Now, if you haven't installed a Delegate before, it's your first time leveraging Harness, let's go ahead and get that installed. To install the Delegate, it's pretty easily. Log into the Harness platform and come down to Setup. And then go to Harness Delegates. Now let's go ahead and install a delegate. So I'm going to click on install a delegate. This time I'm going to be using a Kubernetes delegate. So I'm just going to call this example and go ahead and click download. And this will actually download a targz of the delegate. With that downloaded, all you have to do is expand it. And let's actually crack open the folder here. And all the instructions you need to install a delegate are actually in this readme here. Uh, but with being a Kubernetes delegate, I do need a Kubernetes cluster. And since I don't have one, I can actually spin up Minikube and let's get started with that. Let's go ahead and go ahead and start Minikube up. And this might take a second for Minikube to come up. Go ahead and download everything that we need. And with Minikube up, all we have to do is run this basic command here to go ahead and install the delegate. It has all the secrets and wires you need. So all we have to do is wait for a couple seconds. And just like that, your delegate is installed. You can give this delegate a quick test to see if it's able to wire to the Kubernetes cluster. So if you come back to setup, we go back to cloud providers. Let's go ahead and add a cloud provider. We'll add a Kubernetes cluster. And we're just going to inherit it from the delegate, which we just made the example. Go ahead and click test. And bam, just like that, you have a Harness Delegate installed in a Kubernetes cluster, or in this case, Minikube. And now you're able to deploy to it with Harness if you add it as a cloud provider. Until next time, cheers, Robbie.